Hello and welcome to you in the embedded system programming course. This is Lakshmi Kantiwari. Today we are going to take a very brand new topic that is the Internet of Things. The Internet of Things you can say it is a scenario in which two objects are more than two objects that is the machine or anything okay uh, machine especially the machine can be connected together through the wireless okay and they can transfer the data to the each other and these machines are given a unique id okay and this also have a unique id and this also have a unique id okay so these two devices can be connect together without a human interaction and it can be the ip version 4 and this can be the ip version 6 this can be the also the ip version 4 and this can be also the ip version 6 this internet of things is a branch of embedded system it has been predicted that up to the 2020 more than the 26 billion devices devices will be connected through the internet the example of internet can be anything okay it can be a thing in the internet of things can be a person with the heart monitor implant it can be a farm animal with a biochip transporter and it can be an automobile that has a built-in sensors to alert the drivers when tire pressure is low or any other natural or man-made object that can be assigned an IP address and provided with the ability to transfer data over a network without any human interaction. Okay, so the Internet of Things has been most closely associated with the machine-to-machine -machine communication such as a smart label, a smart meter, a smart grid sensor, a smart thing. So this is the smart internet of things. So what I am taking here is smart home. Okay. So the, I am going to explain you this smart home application uh, in the internet of things. What it means the smart home. The smart home is the uh, devices, uh, door, AC, fan, light, etc. All the security system connected through your smartphone system. So here the key and the heart will be the, your smartphone. A smartphone will control every each and every uh, devices in your home. Okay, through the wireless system. So let's take this is your bulb light you can say, and this is your fan and uh, this is your AC and uh, this can be your refrigerator and uh, this can be your door lock system door lock and this can be the security security means the camera and all these things can be anything and through the smartphone wireless these devices can be connected through these things these things through the wireless you can say the Wi-Fi everything will be connected through the Wi-Fi okay so so there should be a there should be a device uh, which will receive the Wi-Fi and which will control this bulb fan AC and all the security system in your device and that device we can take take a Wi-Fi enabled Wi-Fi chip plus some ARM microcontroller plus ARM Okay, so there is a device which is available in the market. This is known as a CC3200 launch pad. Okay, and this device is made by the Texas Instruments and this device is running on the Wi-Fi. As all of you know, the Wi-Fi is running on the 2.4 gigahertz. As this is the, your ISM band. This is your ISM free band. Uh, you need not to take the license for using this spectrum in the worldwide. So it's a completely free. Okay. Okay, let's take how I am going to design your smart home through the CC3200 launch pad and your mobile devices. Okay. Uh, you need 
you need uh, basically two things you need two things first thing is your cc3200 launch pad and one is android mobile okay android mobile so how it will connect through launch pad as i'm going to explain you let's take this is your launch pad okay this is your launch pad and this is your smartphone sorry this is your smartphone okay so your smart home uh, so your this smartphone have a uh, wi-fi and uh, yeah, every today uh, today's day every smartphone have a wi-fi and here launch pad have also a wi-fi system this 3200 uh, this 3200 uh, cc 3200 have wi-fi plus arm cortex m4 microcontroller okay so how it will communicate with this smartphone there will be the android application will run on this smartphone and it will send some data data sending and uh, it will send some data to the your cc3200 uh, launch pad and then launch pad will receive through the wi-fi those data and then it will decode those data decode receive data and then put the data to the gpio pin okay so after putting the gpio pin then how it will control your bulb ac and all other things okay after uh, decoding the data on the, your cc 3200 launch pad it will give the data to the your gpio okay let's say this is your gpio now at the gpio pins now you will you you can connect this gpio to to the, your devices okay but remember one thing this gpio cannot directly connect it through the, your uh, your system because of that your system needs a lot of current okay and these uh, these uh, gpio of your microcontroller pin cannot uh, provide a sufficient current to the uh, devices okay so here you need uh, some current amplifier okay current current driver or current amplifier so here current driver well, and i use the current driver that is the uln2003 okay this is the 16 pin current driver you can use these things okay now you can connect this uln to the relay relay 1 relay 2 and relay 3 now this relay can be connected through your let's say the bulb and this can be connected through your pan and this can be connected through the AC okay so now everything has been done here okay so one more final thing okay so this this is this is the final thing okay so here is my smartphone this smartphone will transfer the data through the Android to this CC3200 and then it will give the data to the ULN and then final that uln will drive this relay one relay two and the relay three and which is connected through the bulb pan and the ac okay so so this is the our circuit okay this is the smartphone this is the texas instrument cc3200 board and which have a cortex m4 microcontroller plus the wi-fi radio chip on board on board and uh, then this this is the relay driver and connected through the uh, connected through the gpio gpio pins and this is the ground pin connected through this uh, uln2003 and this uln is driving the relay 1 relay 2 and the relay 3 and this relay 1 is connected through the, this light 1 this is the light 1 and this relay 2 is connected through the light 2 which is corresponding to the pan in the my android application and this is the transformer and I am taking the uh, output from the transformer to providing the power supply to this relay drivers and the, this relay and this is the 7805 voltage uh, regulator positive voltage regulator and this is the LED for showing indication to either power on or off so let's the power on power power on okay so the now you can see here the power is on now power is on it is running on the 230 volt 
and now let's uh, connect the power to this board also this board is running on the 5 volt also so I am connecting a uh, power to this board okay fine now you can see here the power power is on to this board and this one now connect your uh, mobile through Wi-Fi you can see here the manual SSID the access point name given to this board the connect okay so the access point is connected now this is this is the my application the with the name of the smartphone okay this is the applications now I can give the command okay the light on fan on the light off fan off and the on everything off everything light on fan on light off fan off on everything off everything this is not limited only the light and the fan okay the using this interface you can uh, you can control each and everything in your home uh, ac whether it is ac do lock control and some other security systems cameras everything you can control with this okay so i am going to start a brand new tutorial series on the internet of things on the youtube okay so the, please guys keep watching and thank you so much for watching my video tutorial thank you so much